it's Dina here. Today I want to talk about Sephora Sparkly Clean Beauty Set. If there's anything I recommend in the Sephora holiday savings event, it would be this item. I'm already a fan of some of the brands in here and I was really interested in trying out the Merit Blush. It's usually $28 and it is full size in here. So I thought that this would be a good value and the Tower 28 lip balm is new here. So I wanted to try it out as well. I also picked up the Huda Rose Quartz Palette during the sale, but I haven't received that one yet. So I can't recommend something I haven't personally tried out, but watch out for a review soon. I totally fell for the packaging. I do have Huda's Mercury Retrograde Palette, which I really enjoy as well. And the Rose Quartz is so cute if you've seen some of my previous videos. You know that I like to collect crystals for fun, so the Rose Quartz theme just matched my personality so much, I felt like I had to pick it up. Now let's get to swatching and try on the Sparkly Clean Makeup Set. If you notice an extra product on the top left, good eye, you are correct. I'm also including in this review the Kosa's Cloud Set Baked Setting and Smoothing Talc-Free Vegan Powder. I got this mini in the Sephora offers and I thought, since it's also clean beauty, why not review it together? Let's get back to the set. First, we have the Tower 28 Beauty Juice Balm Tinted Lip Balm. It is a full size and it is an exclusive preview in this box. I do already have the Tower 28 lip gloss and I enjoy it very much, so I was definitely interested in trying out this product. The shade is in Mix, which is a nude pink, and as you can see, I barely swatched the lip balm and it kind of broke. No worries, I'll just use my finger to apply it. Know that this isn't transfer proof, so it'll get all over your mask underneath. This shade is pretty neutral on me. It just kind of looks like a nice glossy sheen. It doesn't really add too much color to my lips, but I have more of a light medium skin tone, so it may show up more pink for people who have lighter skin tones than me. Making our way in, we have the Elia Fullest Volumizing Mascara in Classic Black. This one is a deluxe mini. I have tried Elia's mascara before and I really do enjoy them. This mascara also supports stronger, healthier looking lashes. This is one of the few clean mascaras that I like because it isn't too goopy and it actually lifts up your lashes. You can see here that my lashes are curling up and I did not even use an eyelash curler. Next up, we have the Merit Flush Balm Cream Blush in the shade Cheeky, which is a cool pink. This is the item that drew me into this set. And at first, I was a little bit nervous that the cool pink might be a little bit too cool tone for me because I tend to gravitate towards warm blushes. But once I swatched it, I really think that it can work as a universal shade for different skin tones. And by universal, I do mean flattering because Let's be honest, if you have a different skin tone, the same shade might end up looking more rosy or more pink or even more brown depending on how it mixes with your skin color. This is a foolproof flexible balm that deposits a creamy transparent veil of color to let your skin show through. So ideally, it should work with your skin to produce the most ideal sheer flush of color that suits your skin tone. Okay, now we have a brand and product that's new to me, and that would be the Say Glowy Super Gel Lightweight Dewy Highlighter in the shade Star Glow, which is a universal champagne. This is a mini, but this mini is a pretty generous size. As you can see, I'm having a bit of struggle with the pump here. Oh no. Yikes, did you see that highlighter shoot out? I had to cut and do some cleaning, but now we are back and this highlighter reminds me of Becca's backlight filter. Do you remember that primer? From my understanding, Becca has been acquired by Smashbox and I'm not sure if they have Becca's backlight priming filter primer anymore, but this would be a nice alternative. It does feel lightweight and it can be mixed in with foundation or worn alone for that fresh dewy look. I got a pretty sheer glow out of it and I actually quite like it. Next up is a product from Milk Makeup, and this is their Color Chalk Multi-Use Powder Pigment in Hopscotch. It is also a champagne shade, and this product is full size as well and normally retails for $18. To use it, you just slide it out of the tube, and it's supposed to glide on smoothly for a billable payoff on eyes, cheeks, as well as lips. I didn't use it on my lips, but I was hoping that if I use it on my eyes, it would have a really nice kind of champagne glow to my eyelids. I'm going to show you what it looks like when I use my finger to try to sheer out the color. And this milk one is definitely more glowy and in your face than the Say highlighter, which was swatched directly below it so you can compare the two. 
I'm just going to apply this directly to my eyelids with my fingers. I don't have primer on or any eyeshadow beneath it. And I have to be honest, as I wore it throughout the day, it did crease into my eyelids. The skin around my eyes isn't particularly oily, but for people with oily skin types, you might want to put a primer on or some eyeshadow beneath it to prevent it from creasing. I'm trying it out as a highlighter right now, and it definitely is way more intense than the Say one. We have Tatcha, the Liquid Silk Canvas Featherweight Protective Primer. This one is a natural finish, and it is a deluxe mini. This mini is a smaller size for sure, and luckily I didn't have as much trouble with the pump this time around. I didn't actually end up applying the primer to my face, but I will apply it here on my hand so you can see it. There's a slight nice sheen to it. Now for the bonus product, the Kosas Cloud Set Setting Powder. I have in the shade Breezy, which is a sheer light. For my setting powders, I like to have it slightly lighter to mattify and brighten my skin throughout the day. The description says it's a super soft, sheer setting and smoothing powder baked with skincare that sweeps away shine, not glow, feels like nothing, but looks like everything. I would certainly say once I applied it to my face that that was true. It took away the shine that would look greasy. By the way, it was 90 degrees when I was filming. It's November. I don't know why it would be 90 degrees in November, but I'm in Southern California and that's what I have to live with. First world problems, I know. So I really thought that the setting powder did a really great job taking away the greasy looking shine and some sweat, but still leaving me with a healthy glow. So that's it for the Sephora Favorites Sparkly Clean Beauty Set. As you can see, it's a very natural look, kind of like the clean girl look trend that's going on right now. It's just a touch of blush, some highlight, it's super natural. I love this for every day. This is definitely my go-to kind of makeup, which is why I like this set so much. The Merit Blush made it so worth it. Even though you have to reapply throughout the day, I absolutely love the natural flush it gives me. I just don't have any other blush that has that same effect. I'm also happy to have an Ilia mascara that's travel friendly. I don't wear mascara that often and certainly don't go through mascara much, so this size is perfect for me. I wish a Tower 28 lip balm wasn't so melty and the milk chalk would increase on my eyelids, but it may work differently for you. It's a fun concept and I don't mind trying it out some more to play around with it. The Say and the Tatcha are both nice products as well and I definitely recommend this set if you're into clean beauty. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next time. Bye! I don't know why my camera was so shaky at the end, but let's connect on Instagram at flyphoenixfly where you can see still images. See you there!